What's up guys, I'm Land from Shoe and today we're checking out the Adidas Harden Setback 3 in this bliss pink colorway. Let's do it. Used to run through the money, now I'm too old. Man, I'm just playing. Shot when I land. Promoter paid for six flights, got the team right. I just told Mr. Band, came in for the bands. Beach side, Villa for aesthetic, just because and I don't even like the sand. Stan Smith, sneakers on the beach, that's the water, I just came in for the tan. This was always planned, you wouldn't understand. I could turn a Chevy to a color. Welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be breaking down how this third shoe to release in James Harden's step back shoe line plays on the court. But first I'm going to give you a quick rundown just on some of the basics. So this is part of James Harden's sub shoe line with Adidas, which is just like his budget friendly line. And you're going to see that with a lot of different athletes. So you got the LeBron 20 and the LeBron Witness line, the Kyrie 8 and the Kyrie Flytrap, like the 5 or 6, whatever that's on. So I mean with the cheaper retail price, these are going to be at $95 now, but that actually might just be specific to this pink colorway for some reason. Because I've seen a bunch of other like of these same shoes just in different colors priced at $90. Not sure why they tossed the extra five bucks onto this like shoe that looks like a little piggy. But that is still going to be down about $50 compared to the hardened sixes that are up around like $140 I think. So I do like the cheaper aspect. And the name is pretty clever too. Like James Harden is more or less like the king of the step back move on the court. He just creates space like very few people can in the game. So I guess props to Adidas there. But as for the look on these, I mean, I like them, but I don't love them. I do like, I do feel like the step back three is pretty similar and just kind of reminds me of a few other Adidas models. Like the Mad Bounce is like the first shoe that came to mind whenever I saw this model. I also see a little bit of the D Rose Son of Shy in there, but you are going to get like a very, like a kind of a wavy midsole with some three stripes kind of near the back half of the shoe. And then wrapping around to look at the heel, the midsole does have some more like lines kind of uh, running across that. It kind of spikes up the shoe a little bit. And then above that's going to be like this funky two heel tab look. You can have two loops there, like a Harden's player logo actually shows up on the top one. Then on the inner side of the upper, it's going to be like, you know, the three Adidas stripes kind of faintly work into the shoe. And beneath that, you're going to see some balance text. I'm actually going to talk about that here in just a second, but the tongue setup is going to be pretty simple. You are going to get another pull tab on there with some Adidas branding. And I mean, I don't actually, I didn't actually get to check out the Harden Step Back 2 in hand, like just to look at, but I mean, these just aren't quite as interesting based off of like the photos that I've seen from the twos compared to the Step Back uh, 3 model, just checking it out in hand. I'd say it's more of a simplified design on the Step Back 3, but now we'll go ahead and set that to the side and see how these play on the court. So now checking out the materials and the performance side and starting off with the cushioning. I mean, like I said, I never actually got around to testing out the Harden Step Back 2. I don't like even really see them available on the market anymore. So I can't really speak on what it was like to play in last year's model, just kind of how they felt and what was used. But as for the Harden Step Back 3s, these are going to get some balance cushioning in the midsole that's meant to provide flexible cushioning. And look, I mean, whenever I put these things on, I almost had to do a double take. Like, this is a pretty nice feeling model, especially whenever we're talking about a budget friendly shoe. Like, Harden's main line has been testing out some new cushioning setups. I know the Fives had this Future Natural setup that, that just sucked. Like, I, didn't, I don't know why, but like that shoe played bad for like three or four different reasons to me. I did not like the Harden 5 that much. Then the Harden 6 used some boost cushioning, I think. And you know, those felt, those did feel better. Like Adidas boost is kind of known to play pretty soft. And I have played in a few different Adidas basketball shoes that did use this bounce midsole. Some have played softer and then sometimes you're going to get more of like a stiff and a responsive feel. But the Harden Step Back 3 is pretty nice to play in on the court. Like, and the sock liner is really padded too. And that's just going to add to the overall comfort. And I bring that up because I know I probably should be trying to compare the Harden Step Back 3s more to the 2s than I should be like trying to draw comparisons to his signature line. But I mean, the Harden 5 and 6 from his main line did have some really thick Achilles pads in the sock liner and they aren't uncomfortable, but honestly, I do just kind of prefer this smooth feel on a basketball shoe compared to having extra pieces on that setup. But I do feel like I need to bring these back down to earth a little bit. It's not like some ground, like groundbreaking cushioning setup exp or experience on this model, but I mean, the bounce cushioning does feel good. Like I wouldn't call these super bouncy, like as in being spring loaded. The setback three is definitely a well-balanced model though. Like there's not really a difference between the forefoot and the heel. So that's something that I do like. And then using our durometer just to check off the midsole, the Harden Stepback three is gonna measure in at a 36. That's a few notches softer than what most basketball shoes read. So not a lot of breaking time required on these shoes. I was definitely impressed on how the cushioning section played for this Harden Stepback three model. So now looking at the materials and the support, usually you won't see quite as many features on a more affordable shoe whenever it comes to these sections, but this is another spot that the Harden Step Back 3 does have some nice aspects. So the upper is gonna be made out of some textiles that are that kinda like give you this mesh feel, so that's gonna allow your foot to just breathe a little bit easier. And that's also gonna help keep the shoe a little bit on the lighter side. I have kind of been knocking James Harden's signature line over these last few years because those shoes have been weighing a little bit on the heavier side, and I just, I don't really love that. 
these are gonna fall more in that average range. A size 10 and a half weighs 450 grams, and that's gonna be like 50 to 60 grams lighter than the Harden 5 and the 6, so I definitely was happy to see that. Then whenever it comes to support, you actually do have some nice aspects going on for the step back threes there too. So first is going to be a TPU heel counter, just to kind of help with your heel, just keep it more stable. And then if you look at where the eye stays are placed, which is like just the spot that the laces are feeding through, that was done strategically just to give you a more locked in feel. So in the forefoot, you're going to see it like where the laces run down towards the midsole a little bit more. And then it's really easy to notice around the ankle. There's like an overlay with sort of a pink band that the laces kind of wrap around and through. And then just keeping that tight helps eliminate any movement for your heel and I have had some like pretty noticeable heel slippage in the Harden 5s like a few years back I remember that from his line and they did pretty much fix that on the Harden 6s but nothing to worry about with any type of heel movement on this shoe for support which is really nice and I mean that mesh upper it feels pretty solid like my foot isn't sliding around especially on like those harder cuts so once again the Harden step back 3 plays well for both of these sections. Wrapping it up with the traction, I mean, to be honest, this is a section where I usually start to worry the most whenever it comes to Adidas shoes. Like, I just haven't loved how a lot of their shoes grip the court, from like Dame's line to Donovan Mitchell's, Trey Young's. Well, I'd maybe make the exception on like the D-Rose Son of Shy. Those actually do have some bite, but I mean, surely enough, so does this Harden Step Back 3 model. Like these get a durable rubber outsole with, a, with like a radial pattern kind of mixed in there in a few different spots. You're also gonna see Harden's logo kind of slapped on there too. And it's kind of crazy. Like traction might be the strongest point of the shoe, but I mean, like so are most other categories. They play really well. And these are just gonna be super sticky. Like I haven't felt that with a lot, with a lot of Adidas shoes that I've played in. And then doing our squeak test, I mean, these things were pretty much just like singing on the cord like i haven't had any slipping or any issues with the traction at all and then some sticky models can't collect some dust like i did notice these doing that a little bit but one swipe and it was pretty much good to go again and the grooves are pretty deep so i mean adidas pretty much calls it out there for you the rubber it does feel durable so outdoors is definitely an option for this model and then to finish it off with sizing most shoes like with adidas they do tend to run on the bigger side i know i had to go like a half size down on the harden six i had to go full size down on the harden fives but i went true to size on these and that's actually a perfect fit like not a ton of room left over in the toes maybe about like a half, half of like a thumb's width and then that's that is kind of how i prefer it and it's gonna be pretty standard on the width too like Overall, I am gonna like, I'm, I just spent like 10 minutes speaking glowingly on this model. So you pretty much know where I stand. Like, I hate to say it, but I am probably picking these over the Harden 6. And you can get the step back threes at just a fraction of the price. I mean, this isn't a heavy shoe, probably probably like average on the weight, but the cushioning is pretty soft, especially for the price. And then you're gonna get like multiple support, support features to go along with that and some really nice traction. So there's just a lot of things to like about this Harden step back three model. Really nice for indoor use, great for outdoor use too. Thank you guys for taking some time to watch. Feel free to throw us a follow or a sub if you like this video. And if you're interested in buying these shoes and you want to support our channel, just click the link that we have here on screen. Or we have links down below or in our bio, so feel free to check that out. But until next time, I'm Landon from Shoewear. Peace.